so that that is our chicken coop i i built that in less than five days my wife actually ordered the chickens before i even started so the the pressure was really on it is a coop big enough to fit about six chickens we've only got four and it's in an enclosure for about three to four chickens that was a that was a enclosure that we bought and then you just assemble it the coop i i built from scratch and it fits into Applied Technology Lab in a lot of ways. Uh, agriculture is one of our areas of focus. With, with the chicken coop, there's all sorts of possibilities for automating watering and feeding and monitoring. Uh, also automatic door, which I, I'm really looking forward to doing. Uh, but also even before any of that, even before building it, 3D design really played a central role in this. And I wanna show you the file right here. I did this in SketchUp, the free online version that opens up in your browser, no matter what operating system you've got. Uh, you just make an account, sign in, it's totally free. And I was able to work out all of the joints, uh, all of the plywood pieces that I would need. And once I found a plywood supplier, and I knew how big the sheets would be, I could lay, lay it out and figure out what cuts I would have to make. And as a matter of fact, I, I, I put all of that together into kind of like a printed out plan. And uh, you could see the cut list and you could see how, where I laid it out and the, all of the joints. And because I, I, I don't do a lot of woodworking and when you just got a pile of wood and you've never done something like this before, it could be a little intimidating. So being able to lay it out on a piece of paper very clearly to, to see what it will look like when it's done and all of the cuts that you have to make, it really helps you just, just getting started. Once you get going, uh, it it's, gets easier and easier. Now I'm gonna take all of this information and I'm going to put it into a how-to guide. When I'm done with the guide, I'm also going to do a video how-to guide where I go over it in case you're like me and you don't like reading. Uh, you like when someone just explains it to you. I'm going to do all of that. I'm gonna put all of that in. I'm also going to start uh, expanding this agricultural project. So right now we've got the chicken coop done. We've got our chickens, they're already laying eggs. We've got the compost tumbler. So we're already making compost. The next part of this project will be a container garden and also an aquaponic system. We haven't figured out what we're going to do for either one, but, but we're starting to get some research together and uh, once that gets going, we'll start putting out videos on that. We still have a smart lamp project to finish. We, I didn't forget about that. We're working on that. I will do a video update on that soon. And again, uh, just check the video description below for any information that we might put in there, uh, links to resources. We, when we design these projects, we always put all of the plans out for free. So if it's not in this video, it'll be in the next one, that, the how-to guide. And uh, that's for free. You just download that and put it put it to good use. Uh, pay it forward. Uh, and if you really like what we're doing here at the Applied Technology Lab, in the video description below, there's different ways you can uh, help contribute. And even if you're just liking and sharing the video, though, that, that helps us out a lot. So uh, thank you for watching. And remember, knowledge is power, but only if you apply it.